2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is delighted to bring you the second stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the Trios Championship is about to kick off. Welcome to Atlantic Beach Country Club. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beeman. This opening hole, Rich, really sets the tone for the day. Yeah, just basic, isn't it? Just 385 yards. Uh, opportunities abound to start off your round with a birdie and saying that you get a little careless you make a bogey and you're really kicking yourself on such an easy opening hole i'm looking forward to today that's for sure That's a good looking shot there. Time for the second shot into the first. Good shot there. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. And that's the right pace. This should drop. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes on the hole the whole way. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Yeah. Currently one under for the round. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it, so yes, birdie on the first, great job. Here we are at the second tee. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine that was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Not taking enough club to get it there. And here we are with the third shot. Certainly makes putting easy if he can chip it that close. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Yep, well done. He's currently sharing eighth position. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Going with a three wood here. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it.
And Kate steady now. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Putt is underway. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. John, give us a small update. Well, guys, I'm down on the fifth, and this is Patrick Canley's next shot. Setting up here with a very long putt. Big chance here. Ah, that's a tad upsetting. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. And with that, he'll move to three under par. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. This hole here is a par four. Not a bad line, this one. Uh, Luke, I gotta, I gotta say, I love your positive vibes, but unfortunately, that one has ended up in the bunker. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Well, that's an impressive little chip. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. In she goes. Let's head to the next. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm down on the fifth hole as Justin Thomas gets ready to hit. All right, 28 feet to the cup. Looking really good. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And we've arrived at a par three. And choosing the eight iron here. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. A spot in the all important top five coming up if you can hold this. Ouch, that hurts. Putting for par. That starts off on a good line. That's well hold. Now four back after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the sixth.
John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, I'm down to the seventh hole. This is Tony Finau's next shot. Time now for the fourth shot. Ooh, they've hold it. That'll be for Birdie. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Let's return to live play now. Well, Rich, all the people that have made it into this second FedEx Cup playoff event have taken care of business. They've survived the first cut, but there's so much at stake this week, isn't there? You need to be in the top 30. Top 30 gets you into all four majors next year, gets you into the WGC events. I mean, this is massive. This is massive life-changing or potentially life-changing stuff because now you have opportunity to set your schedule. You know what you're going to play in, when you're going to play in, and all of a sudden your, your schedule is now where you want to be. It's revolving around the biggest tournaments in the game. You're not trying to play your way in. You're already in there. So it's a big week for those players trying to make it in the top 30. Now there's going to be some pretty anxious moments, especially from those that really aren't guaranteed. I think we can look at maybe the top 20, maybe 22 guys. Currently, they're going to be in. Outside of that, you're looking 23 and above they're having to play to get in the top 30. Now, there's going to be some anxious moments for those guys, but there's going to be a golden opportunity for those guys that are 70 through 60 because, listen, they've got nothing to lose. And listen, as we said about the tournament prior, give her a whirl. Don't hold back. Fire at everything you can. Take chances. Hit driver where you normally wouldn't hit driver. Whatever it takes, but you got to get it done. You can't play with fear. You've got to play with obsession to get in that top 30. By my maths, that's 48 players for eight spots. That's exciting. That's almost like a NASCAR race. Crash them, smash them, but you've got to get the job done. To take care of your business, what a great reward. I can promise you we're going to see some guys that are running on all four flats. They're going to be sputtering oil. They're going to be doing all of that just like in NASCAR. But i got to say, it makes for great viewing. Well done. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. A couple under at this stage, currently tied for seventh position. Well, oh, that was pure. Four feet to the cup. Some momentum being built now. That's back to back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. for the five iron. Well, that was overclubbed. Well, a little off the target with that one. Air mailed the green with that approach. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Down here on the ninth hole, this is Justin Thomas's next shot. How good would that have been if it had dropped? And back to the course with the live action. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down.
Wow, that almost went in the hole. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of fourth. Good looking putt. Nicely hold. And for par. And now at three under overall. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. Just needs this one to kick right. That's just inside the range. Let's recap what Tony Finau was able to do just a little while ago. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it, but for it to go in, that's awesome. Okay, let's get back to the action. And this putt to move into third place. Go on, get in the hole. Oh, that's frustrating. A tie for third spot on the leaderboard. Up for grabs if you can hold this. And that puddle drop. Well done. Rich, this player is just a few shots back with the last nine to play. Did you prefer to be the Greyhound or the Bunny? Three down, nine to go. This player is going to have to start taking some chances if he wants to win this tournament. This hole is a par five. Par five at the 10th. This hole is wide open. Tear high and let her fly. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. quite the shot he was wanting well doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be hitting it over here in the first place was just awful I would blame his caddy <laughs> not bad a chance to move deeper under the card this putts for four under Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Hey, nice looking line. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Gotta like it. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. That one's heading down Broadway. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? I'm down here following Tony Fina on the 12th hole. 
That's his preferred ball flight. There's the draw. That was wonderfully done. Let's get back to it, shall we? Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Just a stroke behind the leader. And he's safely on the green with that shot. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that will take him to five under. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Going with the seven. Well, oh, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. Putting for birdie. Oh, just missed. This is a par putt. Job done. Let's head to the next. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. I'm over on the 14th as Patrick Cantlay lines up his next shot. They're in the bunker. Looking for an up and down here. Well, that's a beautiful bunker shot there. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. This one might just sneak off the fairway. Second shot here on the 13th hole. Come on, sit. Well played. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. That was a gallant attempt. And that should secure the par. Well done. Just one off the lead after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Yeah. 
Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th and sets up a chance for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Going with the five iron here. Let's return to live play now. Oh, I love these momentum putts right on 10 feet. Let's go hold it. That line was looking good, wasn't it? Opportunity to make their par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Opting for the six iron. Nicely done. 20 feet to the cup. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Just three feet to the cup. The putt drops. Now at five under, heading down the stretch. And they're going to have to really focus in here to try and chase down that leader. Just two shots back after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Tough tee shot here, bunkers left, water right. Find the fairway or else. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. <laughs> Wonderfully played. From around 170 yards here, two strokes off the lead. Looks to be going with the six iron. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Yeah, quality shot that. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Down here on the 17th, guys, and Justin Thomas just getting ready to hit. And this putt is for birdie. Get in. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie.
Ooh, right by the hole. And this putt to move into a tie for third place. And only two holes to go afterwards, Luke. Big opportunity. Good putt, that. He's in a share of third place. Here we have a short par four. Do you get after it or find another way to navigate down the hole? How much do you trust your swing? Go for it and only 327, lay up. Bunkers right, water left. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Sitting at five under par in their round. Currently tied for third position. Oh, absolutely flushed. Seven feet to the cup. Looks good off the blade. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will move into six under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. And as this player tees off on their final hole, they're one shot off the lead. Come on, that finish line's in sight. Let's power towards it. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Only one shot off the pace. Opting for the three wood. Yeah, well, it might not be on the green, but it's right up near the surface. If he can haul out from off the green here, he'll win the event. Didn't that look good for a long time? What an opportunity to make a birdie. Always rooting for this player, Luke. I hope this one goes. And with that, this player will win the event. They ended up tied for first, but after a countback, they came out on top. Congratulations to them. Luke, the victories. Winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Bean, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.